Hi, it's Nick at Printer Base. Today I'm going to be talking about Konica Minolta's Magicolor 4690MF and 4695MF colour multifunction laser printers. Both have a first page out time of around 18 seconds. Both print and copy at speeds of 24 pages a minute. Both duplex or double side print, copy, scan and fax. Both have optical scan resolutions of 600 by 600 dpi and both have a high speed 33.6k fax modem. Both machines use the same chassis so they do look the same. This machine is the 4690MF. I'm just going to run through some of the specs. So first of all on the right hand side you will notice that there's a 100 sheet manual feeder. There's a 250 sheet internal paper tray and you can add an additional 500 sheet tray if you wish. On the left you have the output tray which will hold about 250 sheets. Here on the top there's the automatic document feeder which will hold 50 sheets and that's used for doing your copying, your scanning and your faxing. If you can't put a piece of paper in there because it's stapled, perhaps it's a book, you can lift the lid and you can use the glass platen here on the top. Okay. So some of the differences between the 4690MF and the 4695MF. First of all, the 4690 has a 200 megahertz processor, whereas the 4695 has a 500 megahertz processor. Both machines have 256 meg of RAM internally, but you can only add additional memory up to 768 megabytes to the 4695. They both have network. Now the 4690 has the standard 100 megabit card internally, whereas the 4695 has a gigabit card internally. The 4690 is a host based printer, so all the processing is done on the computer, whereas the 4695 has built in PostScript Level 3 and PCL emulations. It might be getting a little bit technical, so by all means give us a call and we can go through what exactly that means. They both have really good resolutions. Slight differences, um, but you probably won't notice. The 4690 claims 2400 by 600 dpi. The 4695 says 600 by 600 by 4 bit dpi with a photo art 9600 enhancement. As I say, you can have print samples if you wish. They are both very good. And finally, the 4695 has picked bridge and direct print from a USB pen drive. That isn't optional, that isn't available on the 4690, it only comes on the 4695. Both machines support the current versions of Windows and Mac, only the 4695 MF supports Linux. Now that concludes um, this brief summary of the two models. I'm now going to show you how the machine works. Okay, I'm now going to send a 10 page high resolution colour document to the printer to see how quickly it copes. And there you go, not too bad. And if you want to see these samples, then just give us a call and we can send them to you. Okay, we've changed camera angles. We're going to show you a 10 page double sided document printed. So here we go.
some machines stick the paper out and suck it back in to do the second side which can be annoying because as it comes out for the first side you want to grab it and find out that you've jammed the whole printer so I like the fact that it only comes out once the second side has been printed which is great And there you have it. OK, I've taken five sheets. I'm going to colour photocopy them, single-sided. So those are the originals. Those are the photocopies. OK, for the final demonstration I've set the printer up so it's now going to do a double sided colour photocopy. There's five sheets of paper, let's see how quick it can do it. Okay, so there's the originals and there are the copies. Okay, we've seen the machine in action. I'm now going to talk to you about some of the internals of the machine. So initially you get 3,000 pages of starter toner. When that runs out you have the option of either a 4,000 page or an 8,000 page replacement toner. The 8,000 page toner is better value for money, but obviously it's more expensive. To replace the tone, it's very simple. You simply pull the front of the machine down. You'll see a little locking lever here. If you simply slide that across, it moves down and you can pull the toner out. Very simple. You get four print units which put the toner on the page. They do 30,000 prints. If you need to replace one of those, very simple to do. You simply push down where it says push and it simply slides out. You get your new print unit and simply slide it back in. And toner to put back in. All of them exactly the same, very simple. You also have a waste toner bottle. It depends what you're printing. The waste toner bottle will do up to 36,000 mono pages and 9,000 pages if you just print colour. So for most people you're going to get somewhere in between that. The waste toner bottle when you first get the machine is totally empty. As it fills up and you need to replace it, it's very easy to do so. Little lock here, you simply twist that and it pulls out. So there really is nothing difficult about maintaining this machine. There are other maintenance items, but they're going to do at least 120,000 pages. So you shouldn't need to replace them. So I'm not going to discuss those apart from I'll just show you how to access the side of the machine. So when you switch um, to the right hand side of the machine, you'll notice a lever here. When you pull it down, you get inside the machine. If you get any paper jams, 
you can get to them very easily. The fuser unit is here, and as I say, if you get any jams at all, there isn't um, much in the way of difficulties. Some machines are difficult to access, this one's pretty easy. If you get a paper jam in the automatic document feeder, there's another lever here on top. You simply switch that, and any paper can be removed there. And you can also access here, this is where the duplex unit is, so as it comes out of the printer, if it gets jammed, you can get access to that very easily. At time of filming, Conic and Minolta were also providing a three-year on-site warranty free. Now, you need to check whether that's still available. If it is available, it's a great purchase. If you want any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call on 0845 230 7234 or visit our website www.printerbase.co.uk. I'm Nick and thanks for watching.